Sairam to all. Uh, today Sairam. I am going to take. Today I am going to take one assessment from unit number two. ठीक है उसका प्रोसेस ये रहेगा कि पहले मैं आपको आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू फ्यू क्लिप्स अबाउट यूनिट नंबर टू आफ्टर वाचिंग क्लिप्स देन यू हैव टू राइट द आंसर्स फॉर द असेसमेंट Hello students today we will talk about importance of self management self management is managing yourself to achieve the predetermined task or goals that you have set for yourself by regulating your actions organizing your time and being accountable for your decisions appropriate self management can help students perform better in school can reduce delinquent behaviors and can help individuals perform better on the job who manages things in your house your mother she takes care of everything right from cooking washing clothes your studies buying stuff for everyone and the house Have you ever wondered how she manages to do so many tasks? She does this by setting a goal, the family's well-being. Then she identifies the tasks to be completed to achieve that goal. She plans and delegates the responsibilities and ensures to finish the task on time. She recognizes the resources she has such as time money health etc to complete those tasks and allocates her resources according to the family's priorities Now since nobody is directing her to do all of this she is setting and achieving goals all, all by herself she is self managing Self management is a great skill to be developed for life and work Let us learn how to develop self management skills. Self management skills. Self management comprises three key skills. One is initiative. Two, organization. And three is accountability. Initiative. Initiative means doing the right thing without being told what to do. Initiative requires one to believe in one's own capabilities. and be resilient to work even when faced with obstruction and disappointment for example as a student you can identify areas of improvement in your school environment such as apathy and disrespect for teachers bullying discipline cleanliness etc and talk to your teachers and the principal about it You can volunteer to address the issues in the school assembly, educate fellow students and staff, and inspire others to join you to resolve the issue. Organization skills. Organization skill is the ability to use your time, energy, and resources effectively to achieve the goals you have set for yourself. Being organized saves your time and energy, helps you to complete tasks efficiently, and therefore makes you more productive. To develop organizational skills you need to follow the following mentioned steps. Identify and define specific goals. To achieve a goal it is important to clearly define your goal. For example, your goal is to have a holistic growth which encompasses intellectual, physical, artistic, emotional, creative and social development. Break down goals into smaller tasks. To achieve bigger goals it is essential to break them into smaller actionable tasks adopt the smart strategy while setting and defining your targets smart is an acronym for specific measurable achievable realistic and time bound thus adopting smart strategy means you can clarify your ideas focus your efforts Use your time and resources productively and increase your chances of achieving what you want in life. Specific, a well-defined task helps you to focus your efforts. For example, instead of saying I will cover my syllabus in time, a more specific task would be I will complete subject A by tomorrow. Measurable, a goal Without a measurable outcome is like a sports competition without a scoreboard. Make your progress 
measurable. For example, rather than saying, I will speed up my learning, a more measurable target would be, I will solve 20 math problems in two hours. Achievable, set targets that are realistic and can be achieved. Setting unattainable targets result in a false sense of failure, loss of motivation and low self-regard. For example, rather than saying, I will learn this whole poem in one hour, a more achievable target would be to say, I will read this poem five times now. Realistic. Devise a realistic plan. For example, rather than saying, I will devote eight hours to my studies after school every day, a more realistic goal may be to say, I will study three to four hours regularly. Time bound. A time bound target informs you whether you are progressing at the right pace or not. For example, rather than saying, I will complete this chapter, a time bound target would be, I will finish this chapter by 8 pm. Time management. It refers to managing time effectively so that the right time is allocated to the right activity. Effective time management allows individuals to assign specific time slots to activities as for their importance. Following steps help in managing your time in the best possible way. Planning. An important part of time management is planning. In order to control your workload, it is important to learn to plan each day, week, month and year. Always be realistic in estimating the time to accomplish the task as it helps you to create effective planning. When you follow your plan, you are more organized. A good work plan enables you to start being realistic about how much work you can take on, how much time it will take, and what activities will it involve. For example, when you get your exam date sheet, prepare a study plan. Write down how many exams you have and the days on which you have to take them. Then, organize your time accordingly. You may want to give some exams more study time than others. Estimate time required for each task. Be realistic in estimating the time required to accomplish the task as it helps you to plan effectively. For example, if you are participating in a debate contest, estimate how much research time do you need, how long will it take you to write it, proofread it, and practice it. So now I am going to share the link and uh, the links are related to information you have clip you have the clip is related to information you have shown you will enter the next clip and the next clip information you have listened to the फॉर्म को भी सबमिट नहीं करना है So I have to uh, click on the link and now the clip I have seen is related to information is in uh, questions so you can fill it now as much as you have understood or if you have already known some answers before you can so you can fill it now but we will not submit it now submit karenge, because few more clips are remaining
Okay, now after listening to clips, I will show you the questions. आपके कितने questions यहाँ पे complete हुए होंगे? now few terms okay question number 6 7 ye abhi jo maine aapko clip show kara tha usme aapko question number 6 aur 7 se related information mili ho theek hai now और क्वेश्चन नंबर वन टू थ्री और फोर इसको इस पे बाद में आते हैं और फाइव पर नाउ आई विल शो यू द क्लिप एंड यू हैव टू राइट द आंसर फॉर क्वेश्चन नंबर एट नाइन एंड टेन ठीक है
ओके students now let's discuss about positive results of self management self management is an essential skill for everyone as it teaches you to be productive no matter what the circumstances are as we grow the demands on our time and efforts increase from all aspects of our life this pull from all directions brings excessive stress and confusion in our minds self management allows us to set up our priorities and allocate time resources and efforts for activities according to the preferences that we have set therefore it helps us to avoid unnecessary confusion delays the stress of pending tasks and guilt of not being able to attend to important issues the practice of self management benefits you in the following five ways makes you more organized while planning your schedule like allotting time slots for your studies relaxation breaks and other activities all your resources instills discipline when you make a schedule and commit yourself to do it in the stipulated time you reject other unimportant invitations from anyone else it happens because you are clear that undertaking any unscheduled activity would mean cancelling the scheduled plan and failing to achieve the target helps in attaining goals if you make a schedule for exams and follow it in a disciplined way you will be able to prepare for your exams and attain your set goals enhances self confidence when you set go now this clip is for question number 9 also okay now question number 8 and 9 and 10 are based on self confidence so that is from chapter number 2 Hello students today let me tell you how to build self confidence self confidence means having trust in one's own judgment and ability it is reflected in one's belief that he is a valuable person and capable of accomplishing what he wishes to do self confident people have three main attributes belief in one's own capability ready to accept any challenge willingness to take a risk first let us learn about factors influencing self confidence confidence is not genetically inherited many factors influence our beliefs about our capabilities three most prominent factors that contribute to building confidence are number 1 social factors number 2 cultural factors number 3 physical factors social factors society plays a critical role in shaping and building our self confidence our society comprises our family neighborhood friends relatives school and even strangers our initial interactions with society leave a lasting impact on our attitude and look out towards ourselves evaluations from parents teachers schoolmates and friends can affect the ways how we perceive ourselves which then progressively build up our self confidence the attitude of parents toward their child creates the first significant impact on him especially in his initial years of his life for example lack of love and attention harsh physical and mental punishments and excessive criticism and derogatory remarks on a child's mistakes can break his confidence instill a fear of failure in him and make him hesitant to take on challenges on the other hand over protective parenting style also hampers a child's self confidence shielding a child prevents him from facing any pain and struggle it also prevents him from developing resilience and coping with stress and failure 
he may come to believe that he is incapable or inadequate. Therefore, a balanced approach to parenting is necessary to build a child's confidence. When a child commits an error, parents should encourage him for trying again and guide him on how to perform better the next time. This kind of behavior prepares the child to accept new challenges, teaches him to consider failure as a part of life and helps in developing self-confidence. Cultural factors. Culture refers to the characteristics of a particular society, community or ethnic group reflected in its practices and beliefs. Culture influences a child's development and behavior. Children growing up in different cultures receive specific inputs from their environment. For that reason, there is a vast range of cultural differences in children's beliefs and behavior. Cultural competence comprises an understanding of all aspects of a culture, that is, social, educational and organizational, in which we live and participate. For example, some cultures value independence, individuality, self-esteem and asserting oneself as important aspects of personality. Children from such cultures are outgoing, eagerly explore new situations, demonstrate competence and have self-confidence. On the other hand, some cultures honor traditional values, relations and obedience. Children from such cultures cultivate the need to maintain interdependent relationships. Physical factors. Physical factors like healthy physique, healthy mind, good appearance, etc. play an important role in developing self-confidence in a person. Moreover, in every culture, good looks are always appreciated and admired, which affect a person's self-confidence. It is a good practice to maintain good hygiene and physical appearance, but overemphasis on the unrealistic image of beauty as portrayed in media may adversely affect self-confidence. Physical disability instills a sense of dependency in an individual. If a physically disabled person suffers from social discrimination and exclusion, this may lead to low self-confidence. However, a positive attitude and strong will can surely help a disabled person to overcome his physical limitations and motivates him to accept the challenges. Nicholas Wojcik is an excellent example of success through positivity and perseverance despite being born without arms and legs. Various attitudes that define the level of confidence among people are reflected in their behavior, body language and way of speaking. Students, let's know more. Nicholas Wojcicki, founder of Life Without Limbs, an international non-profit organization, is an inspiration to millions. He founded Attitude is Altitude, a secular motivational speaking company. Nicholas was born with Tetra Amelia Syndrome, that is, without fully formed limbs. He is one of the seven known individuals on this planet who live with this syndrome. He has starred in the short film The Butterfly Circus and was awarded Best Actor in a Short Film at the Method Best Independent Film Festival. Students, now let us talk about various attitudes of people. The above mentioned factors determine how confident a person feels. You meet so many people every day in your school, home and neighborhood. Some people may strike you as very confident, while some others may not appear as confident. Various attitudes of people reflected in their behavior, body language and way of speaking define their level of confidence. Attitudes of people with low confidence. Fear. They are anxious about the possibility of failure. Value others' opinion. They depend on other people's approval and validation to feel good about their ideas. Overcritical. They tend to focus on their shortcomings like physical appearance, lack of knowledge, etc. Poor time management. They are unable to decide on priorities and focus on tasks. Unpreparedness. Since they do not expect success, they do not put in the necessary efforts. Lack of initiative. They do not feel motivated to bring about change or improvisation. Reluctant to deal with others. 
such people make excuses and try to evade confronting people. Negative outlook. They focus on past failures instead of learning from the experiences. Okay, now how many questions are left? Write in chat box. Aapke kitne questions baj gaye hain? How many questions are left? Oh, Aditi Jain has done all the questions. All of you type in chat box. Aapke kitne questions baj gaye hain? Sir, only three. ठीक है. Sir, एक और बार link भेज दीजिए. Link एक बार और देना है आपको. ठीक है. Two, three, four, five, six. Six students का response आया है. And there are around twenty nine students in the class. इसमें आपको ये ध्यान रखना है कि आपको अभी सबमिट नहीं करना है टू नॉट सबमिट एट एट दिस टाइम Okay, now we will continue to the next clip. Attitudes of self-confident people. Self-confident people have the following attitudes. View to the world. They have a positive outlook towards themselves and situations surrounding them. Realistic view of self. Confident people are able to recognize their strengths and accept their weaknesses at the same time. Trust own ideas and beliefs. Confident people rely on their own ideas and beliefs rather than on others' opinions. Deal with mistakes. Confident people accept their mistakes rather than covering or justifying it. Moreover, they are willing to learn from it. Focus on growth. In spite of recognizing their weaknesses, they choose to focus on the opportunities to grow rather than concentrate on their shortcomings. We can say that a balance and rationality in attitude are the hallmarks of self-confidence. A self-confident person shows the willingness and courage to face new challenges and works hard to attain his goals. This success further strengthens his confidence, whereas a lack of confidence puts them in a vicious cycle where the fear and unpreparedness prevent them from succeeding. and the failure further reinforces their sense of inadequacy leading to low self confidence self confidence is an essential attribute as it helps you in making a better and happier life for yourself not everyone is born with self confidence however it can be developed the following section explains some practical ways to build self confidence building self confidence self confidence can be learned practiced and mastered just like any other skill 
Once you master it, everything in your life will change for the better. Very damn important. Building self-confidence is a process that takes efforts and commitment. It requires you to cultivate a positive attitude about yourself, to set goals and take risks. Following techniques will not only assist you in building your self-confidence, but also in sustaining it in the long run. SWOT Analysis SWOT stands for Strength, Weakness, Opportunity, Threat. This analysis is a useful technique for understanding your strengths and weaknesses. It also helps you in identifying both the opportunities open to you and the threats or challenges you will possibly face. The analysis helps you to recognize your talents and abilities. It also helps you to find or choose opportunities that utilize your core strengths. After analyzing your strengths and weaknesses and identifying potential opportunities and threats, you will have to set yourself in action. Take on a task that you have been too scared to do. Be sure to set a small goal at first and practice the art of planning and perseverance and attain success, no matter how small it may seem to others. For example, Take an unfamiliar journey on public transport or volunteer to give a presentation or speech. Here it is important to apply the principles of self-management you have learned in the previous chapter to strengthen. Abhi, now, how many questions are you Okay, question number perspective, visual perspective, one, two, three, attitude, prejudice. Okay, first five questions, aapke bach gaya honge. Okay, so uh, what we have to do, we have to continue this link in our next class. Okay, hum ise next class mein is link ko fir se continue karenge. Sir, done. दिन का हो गया ठीक है और दिन के क्वेश्चंस बच गए हैं दो बच गए हैं तीन बच गए हैं तो वो सबमिट मत करना इन नेक्स्ट क्लास वी विल कंटिन्यू विद द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक पर्सपेक्टिव्स है ना वो यूनिट नंबर 1 का बच गया है सो आई विल शो यू सम क्लिप्स ऑफ पर्सपेक्टिव्स और फिर उसके बाद हम आ, आप उसको सबमिट करेंगे मतलब ये रहेगा कि वो आपको टेस्ट फिर से देना पड़ेगा ऑन वेडनेसडे सर जिन के कंप्लीट हो गए वो सबमिट कर सकते हैं अभी आप हां सो वी हैव रिटर्न ऑल द क्वेश्चंस वो सबमिट कर सकते हैं सर आपकी आवाज नहीं आ रही ओके ठीक है तो हां यस बोलो सर सर मैंने आंसर्स लिखे थे लेकिन जब मैंने व्यू स्कोर्स पे किया तो वो जीरो दिखा रहा है नहीं ये मार्क्स से रिलेटेड नहीं है ये प्रैक्टिस टेस्ट है इसमें मार्क्स का असेसमेंट नहीं है इट्स अ रिवीजन टेस्ट ठीक है तो हम मीटिंग एंड करते हैं और दोस स्टूडेंट्स हैव नॉट सबमिट नो प्रॉब्लम वी विल कंटिन्यू दिस लिंक इन आवर नेक्स्ट क्लास
ओके वन मोर सॉल्यूशन इज दैट इस लिंक को अभी हम इनेबल रहने देते हैं और आप इसको अभी कंटिन्यू कर सकते हैं शाम को छह बजे तक आप इसको आंसर्स को फिल कर सकते हैं ठीक है यू टेक योर टाइम एंड यू राइट डाउन द आंसर तो आज आप आज आप छह बजे तक इसको कंप्लीट कर दें ठीक है सो आई एम गोइंग टू एंड द मीटिंग ऑल ऑफ यू जॉइन योर हैंड्स शांति 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 सारम सारम सर सारम सर सारम सर